Hi, Lisa. Um, the experience in Richmond, BC has often been cited as one of the Culture Day successful models of cultural engagement and public participation. And I was wondering if you could share with us maybe the top three things that should be in place for this, this to happen. Wow, well, I would say number one, you need to have um, somebody who's willing to coordinate it and sort of be mission control. So in, that, in, in the case of Richmond, that ended up being me. <laughs> and it's, it's a, a fun part of my job. Second of all, um, a fantastic partnerships with um, other um, like-minded organizations or people who are interested in arts and culture um, and are willing to promote it. So in our case, we have a local newspaper called the Richmond Review, and we have our tourism agency, Tourism Richmond. So we formed a really fantastic partnership with them to help us create a, a really robust marketing campaign. And then the third thing is a way to communicate with the um, cultural community. So I have a fantastic email list and I have contacts. So what I did is I created a, 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 a robust uh, communications plan and then that became the carrot for them to want to be involved. So they knew that they were going to be promoted in the newspaper. They knew that they were going to be in brochures that would be in hotels and tourism kiosks. They knew that they were going to get all kinds of promotional support from me so that when they created a, an activity in the community that there was a, a broader umbrella base um, for them to plug into. Um, and I guess that I was wondering whether you felt that Culture Days provides a new opportunity that maybe didn't exist before for municipalities like yours in Richmond to move forward as champions or as kind of being uh, encouraging cultural engagement in local communities. Well, it's funny you mentioned that because we had something similar happening. Um, we have doors open go, um, happening and we had another festival of arts that went on for several weeks where we did an umbrella promotional campaign of what people were doing. But what's really amazing about Culture Days is that it's happening across the country at the same time and it's a really nice defined time and it doesn't require people to have their place open all weekend the way Doors Open did. So there's something special about Culture Days in that it, it allows us to um, create an opportunity for people to find out what kind of cultural activities are going on in their back, home backyard in a way that is different from other things that are kind of similar. And I think the other thing that can't be overstated is there's this sense of that you're part of something bigger. You're part of something that's national. And I think it kind of gives us, an, we, want to, we want to do well. We kind of want to show off Richmond. And that, I think, has become a factor in our, our Culture Days experience anyway.